Morning, this is Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. People ask me often why do I say the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project and the tiny house on wheels in every video. Well, for anybody new to the channel, it identifies me and summarizes what I do. And it helps uh, YouTube figure out what my video is about. So, that's a short version. We had a um, severe, severe ice storm yesterday. We had nearly 700 car accidents, many with multiple cars, up to 10 and 20 vehicles at a time, uh, in the surrounding tri-state area, that is New York and the surrounding two states. It was really bad, and there was... Uh, coating of ice on everything due to freezing rain today fortunately uh, has the temperatures have come up and the ice is melting this morning it was treacherous I tried to get the chickens on video but they wouldn't comply the chickens were hilarious falling and slipping and sliding and flopping on the ground sideways and when I grabbed the camera, they just stood around hovering watching me. It's like they were embarrassed and they knew what I was doing. Anyway, it was really funny. It was so hilarious. The um, sun is strong and good, though, on the off-grid homestead. And I've got... Oh, as I say it, it's only 115 watts coming in. Battery, the new forklift battery is at 13.4 volts, but this morning it was down to 12.3. That was with no load, so it means I've got to pump a lot more energy into that forklift battery. So I have to try to break out the DC generator from under its... the. It's in a pallet box that I had built for it last year, and that is frozen to the ground. The generator isn't, but the box is. And I'm not going to move the generator without the box. So, I've got to break that out. Well, the um, current is raising. It just hit 120 for a minute there. The um, watts, I should say. I've got to break out that, that DC generator so I can get some serious current into these batteries. And top them off. Because they had been sitting unused for a couple weeks. So, that's, uh, that's one thing going on. Now, another thing going on here at the Off-Grid Homestead today. Chris is coming out soon, and we're going to raise the wind turbine tower. I finally am going to get that up in the air, and today is, is good conditions for it, because it's windy. So I'm going to go out and try to gather up any extra bolts and nuts and fasteners that I'm going to need to do the job, because Neil brought me the those tower sections and I need to find some bolts to fit them and then I'm going to raise a uh, wind turbine tower today. It's not going to be really high and it's just going to be the, the single wind turbine for now but we'll get it up there and I'll probably be generating some extra power today which is good. Get that power into those forklift batteries. Well I have a hundred foot commercial grade extension cord. Now I'm really reluctant to do this but I'm gonna cut the ends off these and to use for my wind turbine tower I really hate to do such a thing but this is 10 gauge wire and this will give me what I need to get my wind turbines up in the air and this was affordable I mean it was cheaper than buying it by the foot now, if you remember, I, I think I showed when I brought this home the other day. Uh, while I'm doing this, a lot of people are wondering why I'm spending money when my income is going to be reduced. Well, simple. I did the booster campaign so I could continue on doing projects out here at the off-grid homestead. And... I promised I would use it for projects and that's what the uh, help put up a wind turbine tower so and then if I need to do something extra like the tent outdoors the workshop tent 
which by the way is going to bring me money because I'm going to use it for working on souvenirs and products for sale. If I need something like that, I sell something or barter, haggle, and work a deal of some kind, trade, whatever. I have things for sale. I do sell things quite often if I need to get some money or work side jobs or do some website marketing. There's ways to get money when you're self-employed and off the grid. Legal ways to get money. So I needed that tent. A lot of people are wondering why I bought that tent right now when my next paycheck is going to be reduced. Well, because right now, without it, everything's at a dead standstill pretty much outside with all the winter weather that we have. So I got it. And that way, I can continue working outside on outdoor projects at the off-grid homestead. I can continue working on my indoor paneling. I can stack up some barn wood in there and let that start curing. Because if I bring it in all wet and let it dry in here where it's really dry, it starts to split and crack and warp. And that's not good. I don't want that. Same with the paneling. Bring in the paneling before it cures properly. It uh, really splits and shrinks badly. And then it doesn't look nice at all. So here's a hundred foot, actually 300 feet of 10 gauge wire. Because it's three strands obviously. I'm half tempted to uh, split this open and pull out the individual strands, but that would be a job. I do have two wind turbine towers, well one and a half, because I need the blades for the one, but uh, a friend of mine's taking care of that for me. He found a company he can work with, whereas due to my trolls, the uh, company that deals with it wouldn't talk to anymore, sadly. Well. There is a heavy duty, very large wire. Now like I said, this is three, three 10 gauge wires on this. So, i make sure I'm still in the view here. So these are heavy duty wires. That's a hundred foot, so that's 300 feet of wire. Huh, yeah, I'm very, very tempted to pull this apart very 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 tempted to split this all into its separate strands and baby cat you probably shouldn't chew on that I'm sure it's not healthy for you hey but for now I'm gonna get this stuff separated I uh, get it prepared so I can fasten my my wind turbine to it baby cat don't eat that get off there it's not good for you Actually, I could probably s split these up pretty easily. The entire 100 feet. How hard would it be to just keep on going? Baby, stop! Don't eat that. It's not good for you. Well, I'm going to give that some thought. And I'm going to prepare these ends for hooking up to the wind turbine. Baby, get off there! She's eating the cord. Well, we're going to temporarily put this wind turbine up using a pipe. So I'm going to come around. Uh, should we, let's get these clamps ready. The pipe clamps. <clears throat> Two of them. That way I don't have to stay up there all day. Actually, I'll take... You take two, I'll take two, right? That makes sense. Um, that'll work. And then the wrenches. Let me see what we got here. I'll take a wrench and you take a wrench. There's you. I'm going to 
put it. There it is. Well. Still got some security and bolting to do on the outriggers on this. Now, I wonder if I'm gonna do this. This isn't gonna be easy, is it? Just push it up. Can you go around and sort of push it to me? Um, because it's gonna come into this way, so eventually this is gonna be awkward. I wonder if I should be inside. So I can reach, but I'm sort of in my own way. Okay, can you lift it up to me that far? Can you get up here? I hope this holds me.
windy. Just for safety, I didn't play around. We just put that 24 feet up in the air for now. It's hard to see it. So, just put the pipe four foot up. It's on the base of the one of the outriggers. And I'm going to get my voltmeter so I can see which is plus and which is minus, just to make sure there's a black and a white, which I'm pretty sure what's white, but I just want to make sure before I tie it into the power, going into the to the tiny house on wheels. Look at that though. Look at that. It's spinning. It spins up easily. I do see the necessity though for the guy wires, even at a very short distance. It's really flexing. I think it'll be okay for today, right now. But because tomorrow hopefully I'm gonna be able to get my truck back. And then I'll be able to get the bolts to put up the proper tower. And Neil's coming back with a pipe that fits that tower. So then we'll do it upright. But I just want to get some power going in here. Charge those batteries. Well, as is typical, once we got it hooked up, the wind stopped blowing. Isn't that funny, Chris? So uh, now, though, it's not hooked up to the house yet. I've got it wired in. All across here and up tight into the solar panel wires, which run to the house. Now I have to go into the house and tie it in inside. So, for now, it's a start. <laughs> 